Hello church, my name is Amber Hoyt. I serve at the Coma Campus and I'm very excited to be with you this morning for our NLC Live devotion. Today we're going to talk about prayer and some of the promises that God gives to us about it. We're going to look at a verse in the book of James chapter 5 verse 16. You can read along in any version that's helpful for you. I'm going to read in the New American Standard Bible. Let's take a look at it. James 5.16, it says, Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another so that you may be healed. The effective prayer of a righteous man can accomplish much. I love this scripture because it makes the promises of God clear and it helps us to understand that receiving those promises is actually very easy. The first promise we read is confess your sins to one another and pray for each other that you may be healed. This is saying that God uses relationship and confession to bring healing into our lives. Pastor Rick says regularly that God never intended for us to do life alone, and this verse takes that one step further. If you are struggling in an area of your life or you're stuck in a sin pattern, confess it to someone that you trust and have them pray over you and watch God bring healing into that situation. This was a reality for King David in Psalm 32. He was in a sin issue, and he talks about how when he stayed silent about that issue, it literally caused physical sickness in his body, and it wasn't until he confessed it that God brought healing to him um, for that issue. The second promise that we have is that the effective prayer of a righteous man can accomplish much. The Greek word for accomplish means to put forth power. This means that when we pray, power is unleashed into that thing that we are praying for. There is power when we pray. Uh, last week, my sister Heather and I were at an appointment, and I noticed this woman who was receiving treatment. She was by herself, and at one point she had been crying, and I felt the Lord ask me to go talk to her and pray with her. I went over to talk to her. Her name is Miss Teresa, and she has been... Um, receiving treatment for five years for lung cancer and it has moved into her stomach. She told me she was depressed. She was ready to die. She told her husband last week that she was done with treatment. She didn't want to do it anymore. Her husband actually asked her to wait until their family reunion this week and then they could reevaluate what she was going to do for treatment or if she was going to do treatment. And I asked Heather to come over and we prayed over her and, and we encouraged her. When we were finished, we talked to her um, and when we were finished, her whole countenance had changed. She said, I don't know why you came over here, but my husband's not going to believe the difference in me. I now know what to do. This woman had been ready to die. God brought her from death to life in the span of a three-minute prayer over her life. That is the power that I'm talking about, that God has, has given us like to unleash when we pray, it matters and it can make the difference of death and life to someone. It can make the difference of death and life to you. It can make the difference of struggle and freedom. It can make the difference of sickness and wholeness in your life. Um, and so I want to challenge you this week. If there is an area of sin or struggle that you have, if there is a need that you have, invite someone into that. Tell someone what's going on with you. Confess what's going on in your life. And have them pray over you. And I want you to watch God do the impossible in your life. Literally take your situation from hopeless to full of hope and vision and joy. This is the power of the God that we love and serve. And he is ready at any moment to bring it into your life. Because he loves you and because he's good. Let's pray. Father, I love you. I thank you for your goodness. I thank you that you love your kids and that you don't want us to live in struggle. And you have equipped us through the power of prayer to take situations from hopeless to hopeful, from death to life. This is the power that you give us, Father. And I just thank you, Jesus, that you are going to transform lives this week, that people are going to go from a hopeless situation to a hopeful situation, from despondent to joy and full of hope. I thank you, Jesus, that you are with us and that you are with everyone watching this video. I pray blessing over every person. Pray that you would that you would be quick to save and deliver, provide and heal. In Jesus' name we pray. We love you, God. Amen. Have a great week, church.